Hey everyone, welcome to our third exercise from the book The Multi-Orgasmic Woman by Mantek Chia and Rachel Carlton Abrams. This exercise is called The Balance of Our Well-Being. Well-being, the medical definition. The balance each of us strikes between our own enrichment and depletion, which is critical to our own physical, emotional, and spiritual health. Rachel goes on to add, your sexual health depends on the vibrancy of these three, our physical, emotional, and spiritual health. So I want you to grab your pen and paper and create four columns. And at the top of each column, I want you to write in number one, activities that create energy, chi, and joy. And in the second column, I want you to write time per week, the time that you spend per week doing that activity. And on the third column, I want you to write activities that decrease my energy, chi, and joy. And in the fourth column, I want you to write the time per week. So you have your four columns. The first column, you're going to be writing down activities that increase your energy, chi, and joy. This can be meditating, going on a bike ride, eating chocolate ice cream, reading your favorite book, hanging out with your partner, spending time with your children, whatever. I want you to write all the activities that you feel create energy in your body. Step two, I want you to look at what you feel and believe decreases your energy. Is it with fighting with your partner? Is it disciplining your child? Is it being at work all day or stuck in traffic? The mental chatter in your mind? What is it that decreases your energy, your chi, your joy? It could even be food, could even be TV. Whatever it is, write it down. The third step, I want you to think about your week and how much time you spend doing these activities. So list the time that you spend for each activity that creates joy. And then I want you to list the opposite, how many, how many hours that uh, you spend decreasing your chi. At the end, I want you to add up all the hours of your positive activities that increase your chi and add up all the hours that decrease your energy. And I wanna see where the balance is, hence the balance of our well-being. The importance of this is because when we are giving and giving, not receiving this chi, we become in a depleted mode, low energy. So in this book on page 49, she states, in my clinical experience, the major issue for most women who are struggling to feel their desire is that they are living stressed lives and are physically and emotionally exhausted. In the Tao tradition, there are three divisions of Qi. Sexual energy, vital energy, and spiritual energy. So I just want to read to you from the book of how this whole thing works here. As we live and work, we routinely derive chi, the fuel to power our bodies, from the chi sources all around us. Relationships, or not, exposure to the natural world, nutritious food, satisfying work, art, beauty, creative pursuits, spiritual practices, love and affection, and especially lovemaking. When we are not being nourished by these sources of chi, our bodies are forced to draw on our stored principal energy. When we are not being nourished by these sources of chi, our bodies are forced to draw on our stored principal energy to do their work. Our principal energy is like the backup generator that we drain when we are not connected to our power supply. Those things in life that excite us, give us energy and joy, will help us feel love. Hmm. Nurturing self, nurtures sex, nurtures spirit. Yes, young grasshopper. Ah.